Hey everyone, welcome back to White Coats and Stilettos. It's been a while since we've last connected and a lot of things have happened since the last time we spoke. So for one, I finally finished my third year of medical school and I'm officially a fourth year med student. So about a year ago, I decided to start this YouTube channel with the hopes of inspiring as well as motivating pre-med students as well as medical students journeying on the same path as I am to become a physician. And today's video is a special video because we are celebrating over a thousand subscribers. And to be honest, I didn't really have any expectations for this channel. Being beneficial just to one person was honestly enough for me. So because you've been following me on my journey, I want to do something special for my subscribers. I want to do a giveaway today and specifically two different giveaways. So the first giveaway is one of the resources I used during my third year of medical school that I thought was extremely helpful and it is the Blueprints for Obstetrics and Gynecology 7th edition and this book really gave me all the information I needed in order to take my shelf exam and do well. So in order to be considered for the giveaway, you just have to do three simple things. The first is like this video. The second is subscribe to my channel if you have yet to subscribe. And third, send me an email of those screenshots and I will link my email right here as well as in the, descript uh, as well as in the description box. So the second giveaway is specifically for the ladies or for the guys if you have a special lady in your life that you want to give a gift for. Juiced Edge is a company that specializes in custom made earrings and they want to offer one of my subscribers a free earring. Isn't this beautiful guys? So pretty much all you have to do is follow them on Instagram at Juiced Etre and then as well as follow and like them on Facebook at Juiced Etre as well. And as well send me a screenshot of those screenshots and uh, send that to me in my email. So that's that. Let's get into what you're really here for. Let's talk about third year and how you can get in the 90 plus percentile on your shelf exams. So in this video, I'll be talking about my study techniques and the resources I used during my third year that I felt really helped me during my shelf exam. So let's get into the video. So you may be wondering whether or not I actually did score over the 90 percentile in every single one of my shelf exams and the answer to that question is no. However, towards the second half of the year, I actually spiced up my study habits as well as my techniques and I actually did make over 90 percentile in every single shelf exam towards the second half of the year. So the goal of this video is to help you not take a full half of the year to figure out your study schedule and figure out what resources will be best for you so that you can in the beginning score over the 90 percentile in your first half of your your rotations. So first things first, before the beginning of each rotation, make sure you know what resource you plan on using for that specific rotation prior to the start of that uh, rotation. So I usually purchase my resource that weekend prior to the beginning of the rotation or I found a classmate that had already taken that rotation and see whether or not they have a resource that they will allow me to borrow for the time being. And honestly, that's based off of your preferences. Most of the books that I borrowed had already had things written in them, but that really didn't matter to me because third year I was on a budget. Finding a routine time to study for these shelf exams is really, really, really important because these shelf exams can be pretty difficult and a lot of them can get very, very specific and it will be hard for you to do well if you're just leisurely studying. So every single day I dedicated at least two hours a day to uh, studying which included reading as well as doing questions and then maybe one day out the week I spent at least six to eight hours studying all day and that's usually during that one day out the week that you have off. So the routine that I adopted the second half of the year was I had a basic book that I would be reading consistently every day and then I had a question bank that I would use to gauge how well I was reading or understanding what I was reading. So another technique that I did was I bought a notebook that I wrote down key notes in which were topics that I felt were challenging or topics that I really wanted to remember and this was for review purposes. So, so usually what I would do is the day before or about two days two or three days before the actual shelf exam I would go through all of my notes once over and if I had another uh, if I had more time I would go over it twice over as well as as well as doing questions while I was Doing this and I felt like this was really helpful for me because everything that I learned within that eight week span or six week span was fresh on my mind within two or three days and it was easier for me to recall certain information while I was actually taking my shelf exam instead of trying to remember what I read back five weeks ago and so to be honest I really feel like this part of my routine was the biggest difference between my first uh, semester and my second semester so for every single rotation I used UWorld which is an absolute must as well as online med ed MBME practice exams and one of the most important resources the personnel on the actual rotation don't forget that your attending as well as your residents are actually specializing in the field that you're studying for. So like they could practically take your shelf exam in their sleep. So use them as a resource and ask questions whenever you have them. So I use pre-test for neurology as well as UWorld. So these resources are good enough to get you in the like 65 to 75 percentile. 
out if you use those resources alone. But if you would like to further your knowledge and get in the 90 percentile for neurology, honestly, it would be best to try to remember all the information that you studied for step one. A lot of the questions for my shelf exam during neurology were more specific than I would have loved them to be. And I just remember telling myself, man, I wish I would have remembered more information that I studied during step one. So yeah, neurology was more difficult for me than it needed to be. Granted, I believe that everyone's first shelf exam is always gonna be more difficult than you expected because you really don't know what to expect. So this rotation was a pass-fail for us, so I'm not sure if I gave it my all in terms of studying. However, if you are planning to be in a, uh, to specialize in if you are planning to specialize in emergency medicine, it is probably relevant for you to do well in, on the actual shelf exam. And to be honest, it's probably relevant for everyone to try to do very well on every single one of your shelf exams, regardless if it's pass or fail. But granted, this was my second rotation during the year, and I still had no idea what I was doing or how to study for these uh, shelf exams. So for this rotation, I used Roche Review, which is a uh, question bank that I purchased. It was about $60, I think. Um, I'm not sure if it really did help me. I didn't use a book. I wish I would have used a book. I heard from other classmates that first aid for emergency medicine is a good resource for you to use to help you on your shelf exam. But to have just used that question bank alone and still passed, I think that says a lot. So this shelf exam was just difficult. It was difficult. I'm not going to even sugarcoat it. Difficult. So I use Dr. Pastana's surgery notes as well as UWorld, and these resources alone will get you in the 50 to 75 percentile. And honestly speaking, I learned a lot during my didactic sessions for this rotation. And didactics are pretty much mini classes that each rotation schedules in between the uh, week where they bring you in for about two to three hours and they sit you down and they teach you some of the high yield topics that you should be expecting to see on your shelf exam. This was actually a rotation that I learned a lot while I was on the floor. So during your rotation, make sure you're asking a lot of questions. Dr. Pastana's surgery notebook is very, very thin. It's very small, and um, it doesn't go too much in depth about all of the topics um, regarding your shelf exams. However, it goes over the most important key topics. And during surgery, I really didn't have a lot of time to dedicate to studying, and I knew I wanted to get through one book. And his book was small enough for me and realistic for me to study and read while I was also doing hours such as five to six every day. This shelf exam was difficult, so if you can or if you do have more time to use other resources to study um, to help you learn more of the high yield topics that will be asked on the shelf, I highly recommend that. So for this rotation, the best resources are Step Up to Medicine as well as UWorld, and those two resources used alone will get you in like the 55 to 75 percentile. Again, during the internal medicine rotation, there are a lot of high yield topics that you have to learn, and UWorld has about like a million plus questions for internal medicine. So what I did is half of the questions for internal medicine I did during my surgery rotation. And that, that was also because I heard that a lot of the surgery questions um, were medicine based. So I wanted to get through all of my UWorld internal medicine questions. So I did half first during surgery and I finished the other half during um, internal medicine. This is another rotation where learning on the floor as well as in your didactic sessions is very imperative for you to also do well on your shelf exam. This shelf was difficult. So for this rotation, I use Blueprints for Obstetrics and Gynecology, 7th edition. Of course, I'm sure other editions are just as good, but I just really, really love the read of the 7th edition, as well as UWorld, as well as ACOG UYs. So these three resources used alone would get you in the 60 to 75 percentile range on your shelf exam. ACOG UIs was probably one of the best question banks outside of UWorld that I used. A lot of the questions were structured exactly how the questions are going to be structured on your shelf exam. So I highly recommend using ACOG UIs. This shelf exam was easier than I expected. So for this rotation, I used First Age for Psychology and UWorld. And these resources alone would get you in the 60 to 85 percentile range on your shelf exam. The First Age Psychology book is really, really thin and it gives you all the information you need. Like you don't need any other resource to read. It gives you all the information you need and you can read it really quickly within like two or three weeks. However, this shelf exam was harder than I expected it to be. 
So for this rotation, I use Pretest for Pediatrics and New World. And these two resources alone will get you in the 60 to 80 percentile range on your shelf exam. So during this rotation, I actually, instead of going over my notes the last two or three days, I use BRS for Pediatrics um, as my notes. And that book is like really, really huge and it has a lot of information, more information than you need for your shelf exam. But the reason why I use that book as a review is because there are certain topics that were still kind of hard for me to understand and I needed a little bit more information that BRS actually gave me. So I only read through those topics that I felt I needed more information on. BRS is actually another good option instead of pretest if you're someone who really wants to know more in-depth information about the specific topic, kind of like how I am. However, just be cognizant that the book is so huge that it's going to take you a longer time period to read through that book opposed to just using pretest to give you the high yield information that you need for the shelf. So for this rotation, I use pretest for family medicine minus the preventative medicine section because that section is outdated, as well as ABFM exam prep. It's an app that you can download on the app store, as well as the USPSTF uh, preventative medicine guidelines that you can find online. So those three resources alone will get you in the 55 to 75 percentile range on your shelf exam. I also use case files because I had more time to read and I heard that this shelf exam was pretty difficult and I just wanted to give myself the best chance I could in order to get in the 90 percentile range. So this, so this shelf exam was a very unique shelf because a lot of the questions on the shelf exam encompasses a lot of the topics um, that you learn on your other rotation, such as P's, um, OB, as well as surgery. So I really do feel like the time period that you take your family medicine rotation determines how well you do on your shelf exam. If you take family medicine prior to taking P's or OB or surgery, it may be a little bit more difficult for you to score in the 90 percentile range opposed to taking family medicine as your last rotation, which is what I did. Um, it will be a lot more easier for you to score in the 90 percentile range because you have a foundation for all of the questions or all of the topics at the shelf exam does ask you about. So this shelf exam was as difficult as I expected it to be and it may have been the most difficult shelf exam that I took even though it was the last shelf exam that I took. So keep in mind all of these percentiles are my opinion about how well these resources served me during my rotation. In order to score well on your shelf exams just using a book in a question bank isn't really going to be enough. Make sure you use other resources like the ones that I mentioned such as online med ed, your MBME practice exams as well as personnel on the floor and make sure you have a well-established study plan or study routine that will help you study and learn the best and most efficient way possible. So the three most important things that I want you guys to take away from this video is one, have a book and a question bank, please. Two, make a study routine that's going to help you learn the most efficient way possible. And three, make sure you're learning on the job. Do these three things on every single rotation and I promise you, you're going to have a solid foundation of knowledge for each shelf exam that you take as well as to prepare you for step two. So I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have already completed your third year, let me know what resources you used that you felt were really helpful. Or if you are about to start your third year, let me know what resources you plan to use for your third year. And also, if you want to be considered for the giveaway, don't forget to send me your screenshots and email them to me. Again, I will link my email in the description box. So everyone have a heat filled Texas summer for those of you who are in Texas and I will see you guys sometimes later. So until next time.